morning again. We're going to do some Be Healthy now. In this morning's Be Healthy report, research shows that a staggering 70 to 80 percent of moms to be deal with morning sickness. If you've dealt with it, you know what I'm talking about. In some cases, like for Britain's Duchess of Cambridge, the morning sickness is so severe they need to seek treatment. I am joined now by Dr. Adam Borgita from Hartford Hospital. Good morning to you, and thanks for coming in. Pleasure. I was lucky. I've had a couple of kids and I did not get it, but I know that's the exception, not the rule. Most moms or moms-to-be have dealt with a little bit of it and sometimes a lot of it, right? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, as you said, about 80% of women have some nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. We call it morning sickness, but yeah. it's really not limited to the morning. No, in fact, it's sure not. most women have it throughout the day, so that's probably a misnomer. What is the reason? Is it just hit or miss? Like, is there some reason some get it more than others? Yeah, it's probably related to hormone levels, so there okay. are some risk factors. Like, if you have twins, yeah. you have a higher hormone level, right. and therefore you're probably more likely to get some nausea and vomiting. Uh, it, there's other risk factors, like if your family, if it runs in your family, you might be more susceptible. If you have a history of motion sickness, sometimes an eating disorder, those women seem to be at higher risk, mm. uh, but and it's probably related to the uh, HCG or the pregnancy hormone that you would have with a positive pregnancy test. It starts to go up around six weeks and it peaks around 12 weeks and then it drops, so that's why most women have it more in the first trimester. Yeah. Uh, some women, unfortunately, about 5% can have it throughout the whole pregnancy. Oh, just you feel for them, but it's just such a miserable experience, I'm sure. What can you do? I mean, most pregnant moms don't want to take any sort of medication right, so, right. so what do you do yeah so some things are just it's there's no cure uh, but yeah. there are some symptomatic treatments. So I guess delivery is the cure, right? Yeah, so <laughs> ultimately, it will go away, which is reassuring. Uh, the reassuring part is that it doesn't affect pregnancy outcome. Babies tend to be healthy. Moms tend to be healthy afterwards. But how do you get them to feel better? One is to avoid triggers. So some women have a, a heightened sense of smell mm -hmm. or sometimes taste. I remember that. So very strong, spicy food, uh, fatty foods. Avoiding those triggers that cause the nausea, that's a big help. And then trying to figure out with your doctor, is it more of a nausea component, which is most women, or is, is there also a big vomiting component, mm -hmm. which is only about half. Uh, so there's a lot of good treatment. Uh, medication that's safe, that we know helps. That's ginger, 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 even ginger lollipop seems to help a lot for nausea, so that's a big help as well. So mom was right back in the day when she said, have some ginger ale if you feel a little sick to your stomach. Exactly <laughs> it true. works here too. Exactly All right, true. thanks so much for coming in, Dr. Pleasure. Brigitte. We appreciate it.